All right, our last review topic is going to be percent proportions. So we know that a proportion is just a blank, equal sign blank, right? That's a proportion. And anytime we have percents in my problem, we know percent is going to go over 100, okay? So I am going to read this problem and I'm gonna point out the, the words or the numbers that tell us it's a percent proportion, and then you guys are gonna practice a couple. So it says, Kara owns 35 books. Of these books, 20% have fewer than 100 pages, and 80% have 100 pages or more. So it says, complete the statement about the books Kara owns. Okay, so we're gonna move these numbers onto these blanks, so we only need two of them, okay? So I'm first going to eliminate Joe Schmoes. So we're in sixth grade, the answer to the problem is probably not going to be in the question, especially if it's a percent question, right? So 20%, 80%. Those are percentages, they're not books. So I need to eliminate some answers. So I'm gonna eliminate 20 and 80 because they are Joe Schmoes. Okay, we do not match in sixth grade. That's not how this works. Again, this is 20% and 80%. And we know that all percents go over 100. So immediately, I'm going to take both of those percents and I'm going to put them in my proportions over 100. So I know 100 goes on the bottom. I'm gonna put 20% here and 80% here. I have two percentages, so I'm gonna use two percent proportions. All right, so it says she owns 35 books. So 35 is our total. So I'm gonna put total on the bottom for both. And they're both gonna have a 35. All right, which means we are solving for X which is on top, okay, it's 35, 35. And from there, I'm just solving them and they're gonna be in the, in the blanks at the bottom. So remember, 20% was fewer, so I'm gonna label this one as fewer, and 80% uh, was more, so I'm gonna label this side as more. And that's gonna help me down here when I, when I label. So I have fewer in my first pit box, and I have more in my second. So this one is going to be the more, and this one is going to be the fewer. So my solutions for these two. All right, so we know proportions. We just cross multiply per 35 times 20. These are kind of hard to see. I'm going to change colors here. 35 times 20. And we're going to divide by 100. So 35 times 20 is going to be... 700 and 700 divided by 100 well the good news there is we can cross off our zeros and all we have left is seven so how many books were fewer seven okay and then we're going to do the same thing on this side we're going to solve for the 80 percent okay solve for the 80 percent and remember we're dividing by that hundred so 80 times 35 is going to be hmm, 35 minus 22,800. So we have 2,800. And again, we're dividing by 100. And again, we get to cross off those zeros, which is so nice. And we have 28 left. So we had 28 books with more than 100 pages. And you can always check yourself because these two numbers together, right, are fewer books and are more books should equal my 35 total books. And they do. 28 and 7 do equal 35. So that's a way to check ourselves. All right. And that is percent proportions. Go practice. Remember, percent goes over 100 and total goes on the bottom. Anytime you have percent in a problem. Anytime.